Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim. Welcome back to Stellaris Star Trek New Horizons mod. We're having fun. Ooh, a rogue planet? Arctic rogue rogue? Tropical glacial. Ooh, a rogue planet. That seems something completely different to what I think it is. Uh, well, I can assume that a rogue planet is, you know, a planet that's not captured by a star's gravity. Tends to be the definition of a rogue planetoid, but uh, sure. I guess this is like the definition that Star Trek uses, which is a little bit outside normal science. Either way, today's episode, we're going to try and discover a few more. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, what's this? Uh, people are entering migration treaties. That's fine. Hopefully, we're going to find a few more planets we can occupy. And we'll maybe increase the size of our military. We also need to fix our power problem right now, which is, uh, well, our problem. Um, we don't have enough power. It's kind of a self-explanation there, you know. Need more power. Let's get it going. We could also probably upgrade some of our ships. I don't think we've upgraded our civilians yet. Ooh, Continental. Very well. Start moving there. Station complete. Enemy vessels detected. The Pi aliens. Spatial rift detected. Let's have a look. Pi aliens. Where are the Pi aliens? I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, I can't find them. Okay. Hopefully we'll get the Federation today. Hi, Tamarians. They're setting up a base here. Anomaly found. Arcturus is frozen anonymous to optical scans, but heat signatures indicate some activity below the surface. Okay, it's frozen and anonymous to optical scans. It's not really anonymous to an optical scan, but interesting phrasing. Sure. Station complete. Okay. I'm not gaining energy credits right now. Ooh, We've got the nuclear electronics lab. We can get phase turrets. I guess they're tiny little phases with a range of 10? Are they just for shooting down missiles or something? I guess they're point defense, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Geotronic computing. Artillery. The ship will stay at range and fire its long-range weapon at the target. Ooh. Destroyer. Mixed behavior. The ship will have a balanced approach between offense and defense. Okay. Oh, we can go hard and shields. We'll go hard and shields because it's the quickest. And hopefully that leads to shields or something. I'm still waiting to actually discover shielding. It's a bit disappointing that these don't really have anything. Ooh, new Prime Minister. Don't mind if I do. Frozen waste. Some species thrive in harsh environments such as the chilly atmosphere of Arcturus 3. Turgenev has, has taken a special interest in one of the types of creatures that skitter across the planet's surface and is of the belief that they may achieve sentience with just a push in the right direction. Something to keep in mind for the future. Okay. Do we have the Prime Directive yet? I mean, we're not the Federation yet. We should have been a few years ago. Do we go for this world? I think we have to keep spreading our influence. So yeah, ooh. Physics and energy credit output plus 5% and minerals plus 10%. Ooh, very nice world. Thank you very much. We'll grab that. Let's go for a base. If I go here, then we don't get bonuses for those. And oh, that's a bit of a waste. I guess we're going to go here. Even if we do lose one of them because it's against the side. It's all about those adjacency bonuses, right? You want to maximize them. Uh, we'll get ourselves another colony ship. Could go get a Savannah colony ship down here. Is this a good world? It's an okay world. Just get ourselves like some Vulcans down here or something. Or oh, there's a continental over here. You know what? That's a bit more under threat right now. So yeah, we're actually going to do that. Colonize. And we're going to go here. That way we can push back against their space. Admittedly, they're going to be, you know, part of the Federation. But you get the point. Are we doing that colony ship? No, I didn't do it. There we go. Grab you. Should probably upgrade it as well. Nathan Samuel's got re-elected. Oh, okay, cool. 
I mean, that means we've got the minor mandate, which is pretty easy for us to do. Station complete. We just did one. We just completed one of it. Okay, All right, we've got two more, three more to do then. Minerals, it's fine. I like minerals. Anomaly found. Scanistar unvi unveils a small object in rapid orbit. It's small size and high velocity making... Ah, this is a typical Stellaris one. That's fine. Construction ship, get over here. There's energy to harvest. And I like harvesting energy. Because it's num 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 tasty. We've met the row aliens. Fair enough. Row, row, row aliens. Oh. We've got a report from science officer Tuganev. It appears that a ceramic container circling the star. Most peculiar. It obviously shouldn't be yet. It somehow has managed to find its way into a close orbit. We can do a special project to investigate the container and try to deduce our end up there. We either get 40 influence for ignoring it. Or we can have the uh, research order. I'm going to do the research order. Detected. Go to... Research that first. Then you can go back to your good old uh, survey pattern. There we go. Have fun with that. Station complete. Mm, ship's coming on okay. Hide armies for the moment. Don't really need to see those. Could upgrade a few of our ships. Yeah, let's actually do some upgrades for our ships. So, ship designer. That's maxed out. So are those, those are fine. I mean, do we have any other types of hull? No. That's maxed out. That's maxed out. That could be a combat sensor, but the power usage is insane at 90. Tracking plus 9. Oh, but the sensor range is down. Okay, so you can't really sense outside of your system, but you get, like, crazy high uh, bonuses to hit people. That's not bad. Um, no, that's pretty much how it wants to be right now. Like, There's no point in really changing that. Engineering computer is great for the armor. Kind of want to have the sublight speed though because 50 percent sublight speed is pretty damn good but i'll i'll keep it as it is for the moment and we can't afford that for power i'd have to get an extra reactor and ugh. like how much do i have to do get rid of the auxiliary power bank or no i don't want the security because i want the tracking buzzard collector i could get rid of the sublight speed bonus oh but we can't Ah, nuclear reactor can't fit in there. Okay. We could re get rid of one of the power banks, I guess. Yeah, okay. It's probably worth it for the tracking. We lose sensor range, but hey, it happens. Construction ship. Let's actually modify you. We're going to give you the civilian warp drive, which I think is, yeah, it's cheaper. At the same time, I don't really need to have any of these. We'll upgrade your speed using the Buzzard Collector, and I guess we could get, like, Bulkhead for extra health? 30 minerals. Yeah, at the same rate, though. That does increase your hull quite a lot. Yeah, we'll go for it. Oh, but it makes it so much more expensive. You know what? Let's not. Let's just decrease the cost with that, and then increase the cost ever so slightly with the buzzer collector to get the speed. So it's roughly the same. Science ship. Buzzard collector, buzzard collector. Ooh, lateral sensor array. Sensor range plus 50%. Ooh. That is tempting. Maybe we can go one and one. Uh, we'll want the bulkhead, probably. If we switch to that, we're going to need a nuclear reactor instead. Basic class will switch to nuclear lab. We can go to Gravinetic Sensor to get the sensor range increase. 
That uses power, but doesn't cost anything. I guess we'll get it. That costs one, but we lose armor for evasion. We're not pretty good at evading anyway. 20 power. I guess we can go for a second nuclear reactor. Sure. We'll update that. Transport ship. Since effectively they are free. Evasion. How's our evasion? Terrible. Tracking, don't need. Low profile hull. Combat speed. Doesn't really matter because if we get in combat, we're stuck there until we evade. Um, I guess low profile hull? Maybe? Get the evasion up a bit. We'll get the best warp drive. Tracking does, you know, benefits of zero, so we might as well get the better dodge. Increase in armor. And I think the armor's still better than the evasion. Because you don't have to pay for the transport ship. In fact, this is actually a... This is a workaround to a bug. The bug being that in the original game, when it came out, you got an army. Cool. And then they turn into their ship, and then they turn back into an army. They turn back into a ship, they turn back into an army. The ship... You never upgrade. You couldn't upgrade. It actually wasn't available here. It was hidden. And it had, like, the basic level warp drive, which never auto-upgraded. So you research a new warp drive. You're trying to get around your systems and stuff. Your fleet can do it fine. Your ships that have got, like, troops, your troop ships, they can't. They can't do the jump because they're still stuck on a warp drive one. So they're constantly taking ages to get around. So I requested the Paradox um, fix it. And what they did is they uh, made it available to edit the transport ship. Which does solve the issue, but at the same time, this is all free. Because you don't pay for the transport ship. A troop gets turned into it. So this is actually a hacky workaround, which is why it's like this. Uh, we can go for defense platform. I will update the defense platform. Don't know if we can use it or not. Have we got any other types of... No. It's a bit boring, really. Mm, we will go for emergency bulkhead. And then a relay there. Station reactor. I guess we'll save it as is. Don't know if we're really going to use it. Expensive as well. For the amount of firepower, it's pretty expensive. 460. You think they'd be a good deal cheaper because they don't move. You know what? Since you're not moving, feel free to go and upgrade. Oh, no! They grabbed the cyst They grabbed the planet before I could get to it. Okay, fine. Uh, I guess we'll colonize this then. God damn it. Tellarites have declared the Orions their rivals. Fair enough. I mean, I could go for rivalry. Naval capacity is inferior. Technology level is inferior. Fleet capacity is... Okay. We wouldn't get much. Hmm. Station complete. We completed something? Oh, we got another colony ship. That we can't really use. Ooh, can we though? There is a continental over here I'm seeing. At Mabu. I think we could go for that. Alright, we're saving up a bit of money now. I want some minerals. Uh, That is a coalition. Oh, it's a federation ship. I don't want to use that. No, I want to save for my Station awesome ship. Complete. I'm also hoping that the Federation event will fire at some point. Ships upgraded. Station complete. Also, why are you superior? Technology level. Do you want to have a trade deal since you're waiting? What can I give you? Instant transfer energy credits? It's expensive. What about instant transfer like minerals? Wow, you like minerals a lot more than you like energy credits. Research complete. 
Uh, let's research, I guess, planet unification, sure. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. That's, that's why, like, in the early game, if you've got friends, diplomatic is actually really helpful, is that if you start dipping down on energy credits, like, really, really low, you're like, yeah, um, can I buy energy credits? I will give you 10 minerals. Oh, here's 50 energy credits. Like, dude, this is totally worthwhile. Ooh, I'm president. Yay! You know what? You're declaring people your rival. I'm going to declare you a rival. What? Four, five influence. Wow, you've jumped up a bit. Research complete. I should probably also use my minerals to build stuff on planets. Gravity plating? Chance to play plus four. Mm, sure, it's also the quickest to do. Right, let's have a quick look at the planet, see if there's anything I can upgrade on the surfaces. Yeah, we'll clear some things. Um, we'll get ourselves a power plant. We'll upgrade that. Um, oh, that was it. That was quick. Cool. That's fine. Come on, Federation. I'm on the Federation to trigger. I want my federation to trigger to be the best there is. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna get my colony ship over here. Right now, because I want this planet. Why do I want this planet? Because there's a lot of power available over here. And I know that both the Vulcans and the Orions are eyeing up the system. And it has been. Uh, sorry. Pergium. We need that. Uh, let's put our base there. Ooh, and the Centauri polity is now a vassal under me. Sweet. Long range scan of planet complete. Okay. Research complete. We'll upgrade you. You're upgraded already. We'll upgrade you to upgrade as well. Ships upgraded. All right, what have we researched? Complete. Spaceport armor plating. Just fabricate it. I mean, we could do, but at the same time, it's a building. Mm, build cost, construction time goes down, but yeah, but then I need to delete it. So. Engineering lab three, spaceport level. We'll get spaceport level three. Why? Oh, you've lost a lot of food. Oh, that's because no one is working on the food. Come off it. It's like priority one. I guess we're still really short on food. Really? There's a lot of food women short on. Okay. <gasps> Our interstellar alliance has caught the public imagination. No longer is there an isolated backwater on the galactic stage, but the central component in a powerful block of shared values and interests. The Coalition of Planets protects us, but there's so many who wish for further integration to better secure ourselves against hostile neighbors. Politicians in all four worlds have signaled desire to start this process. Five. Five worlds. Uh, all that's needed is one leader to step forth and make the proposal. Unity is in Earth's interests. Uh, I want to just build a hydroponic farm here, just to try and get a little bit more food going. Come on. Unity's in Earth's interests. <laughs> The United Federation of Planets. The delegates have assembled in the Grand Chamber on Earth. Billions of people from each of the Coalition homeworlds watch with their homes on an enormous public displays. Federation Day. Prime Minister Nathan Samuel steps forward, his allied counterparts in tow. Dozens of lights from the audience flash and a roar of crowds subside until the entire hall is blanketed in silence. The leaders gather around a large book on the central podium and in turn mark their names. Today is a historic day. Prime Minister Nathan Samuel says to the gathered masses, Today is the day our many races are joined together in peace and in the spirit of exploration and progress. Today marks the birth of the Federation, the United Federation of Planets. And with that, the applause thundered. The birth of a Federation. Did little note, unfortunately we're unable to rename Empires in Stellaris until Paradox makes this function available. 
The other Federation members are now classed as Member World. That is under your nation and we use Starfleet ship designs from now on. Hmm. United Federation. I actually named the United Federation of Planets. And I have negative influence for the next 10 years, which is fine. It's understandable. It was a big event. I'm cool with that. But also, how many frontier outposts do I have? I have a lot of frontier outposts. We should get rid of some of those frontier outposts. Yeah. And also, we've got to hand off a planet somewhere and other stuff. So I'm about to get that planet, so... But... Hi. Hi, Vulcans. Ah, so... You can see here that the Vulcan homeworld is technically... A, oh, the Andorian homeworld is this. That's the Andorian homeworld, and it's now a vassal. If we look at Pujem... Oh, Pujem's actually now ours, but Eridani isn't. Eridani's the vassal. That's weird and interesting. Um... Signy is now a vassal as well. So it's Tellarite. Are you a vassal? Technically, you look at like you've got the Federation member world. Let's check. Denobula. Yeah, so they're separate. So I've got everyone else's worlds, but I don't have their home worlds. So the home worlds are like vassals under me. That's fine. At some point, by the way, I do have to try and incorporate you, but I won't be able to do it until next year. That's not too bad. Okay. And I think what we'll do is we'll try and get uh, these people involved. Now, we should get association uh, states with them, because technically we're now just one empire. We're just one country, empire, whatever. Uh, we're not actually a federation anymore. We are one large entity. So we can actually get association states with the Benzites and that. Get them on board. Um, ooh, hello. Savannah, Continental, Continental, and Rogue. Hmm. But there's a lot of unexplored space out here. We might be able to push out and grab some stuff, hopefully. Also now a very powerful block. We're actually the most powerful here. Although, you know, admittedly, they have their own fleets. The, the member nations under me have their own fleets like a normal coalition does. And I think we can design their ships now? Somehow. How do I design? Let's look. If we try and build a ship. No. I thought I could design their ships and stuff. No, okay. Don't know how that works. I guess we'll find out. For now, though, I've been interested. If you like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Uh, Utopia is actually coming out fairly soon, so I might try and record lots of this in advance and then update Stellaris. And then we can have maybe both series at the same time or something. We'll have to see. But uh, we've got through the big chunk that I want to get through. We've got to the formation of the Federation, which is... I mean, we formed with five people. I mean, one of them was tiny compared to the normal four. And we've got a vassal, so, you know... We did it 10 years late, but hey, we've got extra stuff. Hopefully we can get these guys on board. That'd be pretty good. I do think they're in the Federation. I know that the Benzites are in the Federation. I'm pretty sure the Bolians get involved. And then maybe we'll find out what happens to like the Romulans and the... I think I'm just in the right place for the Klingons somewhere. Maybe we'll even meet the Dominion at some point. Or the Borg aren't in the game yet. The Borg are actually going to be a faction, not an event. So we'll have to see about that one. For now, though, I've been able to see them like, subscribe, comment down below... And until next time, stay shiny.